What's up, Zox fam? Now, we're going to be getting into a little bit of a discussion video today, uh, getting into what I think the new resonance system is going to be um, and as to why these changes are happening the way that they're happening. Now, of course, this is my own opinion. So again, it's all speculation. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now, the first thing is, is I think that uh, one thing that is important to kind of state is really what the initial plan was for where Dislike was going. Now, I can at least say 100% that the initial plan plan for what they were trying to do or emphasize with the characters was dupes not being the basis of giving your characters power. But I think that what's kind of happened at this point is that we've seen that dupes not having any actual value and you pulling this endless amount of dupes or just having this higher probability to get dupes um, ends up not necessarily being the most healthy for player retention and just overall engagement. I mean, to be quite honest, if you're going to keep getting the same thing and it doesn't have any actual value, you're going to start again feeling the way that the community kind of has felt up until this point of this newest update coming. Now, what I do feel like is going to end up be um, end up happening with the new resonance system is I feel like it's going to now be actually swapping. I feel like it's instead not going to necessarily be, uh, you know, not emphasizing dupes to where now it is going to be emphasizing dupes because i do feel like in most game structures especially gotcha games the dupe system no matter how hard a development team tries to not emphasize it in being important that ends up being important if it is going to be in the game like there's just no way around it and i think what is going to essentially happen is instead of us having this skill tree i think that it's actually going to be said abilities to each specific character i think one of the problems that you kind of run into with the skill tree is that it can work in certain games depending on the abilities but for me personally, I felt like in a lot of ways, certain things like the resonating uh, for attack and defense, I mean, I felt like they were okay. I really feel like the most valuable resonating skill tree was for HP. Um, and again, that's if your character was emphasizing that. And that was mainly because of this ability, hasty action, because again, when you're looking at what is most emphasized in the game, it just so happens to be speed. Now, that was one of the things that they actually did touch on that they were going to be trying to adjust was the emphasis of speed, because again, you see it here. Um, and of, go of course, making it to where resonating is important. And the only way you can really do that is making sure that the resonating system actually is giving some sort of power boost to characters. So what I think is exactly going to happen is that you're probably going to have your six resonating skills or resonating levels, right? And with each one, there's probably going to be one that raises, like, say, your base stats. So it'll probably raise your attack, HP, and defense. Then the next one will actually be doing something that will allow your character to be able to open up a doorway to having or gaining potentially more utility or being able to fine tune what they do already, right? Um, and I think it might be more along the lines of that idea, just because of the fact that they already have talked about that they're trying to give characters a singular ide identity, right? Um, and having a specific role so that it is much more sound when you're building compositions and it makes it a little bit more fun for theory crafting and i guess a little bit more fair when we're talking about just having the options and people being able to mix and match and not everybody having the same exact thing now with that that <laughs> that part right there everybody having the same exact thing and I think that's one of the things that's kind of sort of started to happen. And it's one thing that I actually touched on with the Fatum Sisters, why I thought the Fatum Sisters was made the way that they were made. And I know a lot of people, you get upset about a lot of things, but hear me out here, right? Now, I talked about this in my live stream where I felt like with the Fatum Sisters, with T, with certain AP manipulation units, the part of the problem that we've had within the game is that everything has been isolated to specific units. So if you didn't have a specific unit or you don't have a specific unit you just aren't able to clear things efficiently you're not able to get a higher score um, and that shouldn't be the case you should be able to mix and match your composition yes those units should still fall under the parameters of what's required for that piece of content but with the options of units like having you know the Fatum sisters or t or you know unis or just any unit that's relatively similar in some sort of ability but being able to have the different options of those units is going to be nice because again when you're talking about a gotcha full of rng not 
any singular account is going to be exactly the same. Even for people that are spending, there's still people that still don't have certain shimmer units. Like myself, I don't have Raven or Tether. Whereas some people that are free to play and not spending do have Raven and Tether. So that's going to definitely change what they might be doing even in PVP, team comp wise, or even in things like RTA. So I think that the more options that we have, even if the units do do things that might be relatively similar to each other, is just going to be much healthier for the game because again, what that's going to be brewing is more potential theory crafting, different compositions, and as, way, and as well as what I've been looking forward to is other ways to clear content. I think the fact that there's just kind of these hard set in stone ways for the most part to clear most things, I think that that's just kind of boring right? I'm just be honest. It's just kind of boring. So that's one thing that I really think that with a lot of these changes and with certain things that's being implemented is going to help emphasize that, right? Going back to what gaming is really about with these kinds of games and it's big braining, theory crafting, and honestly creating endless compositions to be able to do stuff is what I ultimately hope the goal is, right? Now, when we're looking at different changes with Gabby, um, Lucas now coming into Fusion, Sally going into Tower, um, the twins now becoming the uh, poster children <laughs> of the Path to Mastery, I think that this was an important adjustment, right? Now, you have to consider that Gabby has been a, a, a couple of different things, right, over the course of time. She's been a beginner special summon unit, she's been a uh, Fusion unit, and now she's going back into the gotcha um, as just a gotcha unit now like i mentioned before i feel like a lot of this has to do with what they're going to be doing with the resonating system and for whatever they're going to be giving her you got to keep in mind that a lot of people and if not most that initially like were playing and when she came out on fusion and even going into launch it was advised for a while to automatically build her and build all her resonates because it was pretty much free right um, now obviously we're advising players now to be able to you know go in try to get as many resonates as you can because that very well could be something that could be affecting her as a potential character um especially with her now seeming to with her going into the gotcha it seems like her value is going to be going up and i think that that's more than anything what is happening i think that with these changes with the skills uh, or with the resonating system is going to be potentially hopefully raising the value of characters to where you're going to be able to um honestly probably want those duplicates and i think that's why the wish list or the wish list system was made the way it was as well uh, for those that don't know what's going to be happening to that um, essentially what's happening is that they're going to be creating a wish list where you'll be able to select characters that you already owned um you'll have to accumulate 100 wish stones and then you'll either be able to use those wish stones to collect a character that you already own or a new event character that is currently out um at that at that time on the banner whatever it might be right now with that if duplicates end up becoming more emphasized and giving characters more value making them you know go from being you know maybe say okay or average to being god tier or broken i think that that is going to be a huge turn in how we even look at the game now with that again i still think that new getting new units is still important it's still very much so the ultimate goal when you're playing these games but i also think that the building and fleshing out of your units is kind of also a goal as well for a lot of players now the other thing that was kind of brought up to me was just the fact that if everyone had accessibility to um all the same units and it kind of goes back into the reason as to why i think that there's some units that have similar abilities but there's still different units is so that there's unit diversity and i think that that's kind of again back to the issue that we've even had in pvp is that most comps and i mean you've seen the metrics of the metas kind of be that way and from what i was told with what dislike wanted to be able to do with this game is they didn't want it to be set in stone for one specific meta or there to only be one composition that people utilize to be able to scale through stuff um it really was supposed to be a battle of the minds and really just in how um you know you were able to compile a team in conjunction to whatever relic sets and things of that nature that you have and that's what initially brought me into wanting to cover dislike not because it was just a cool aesthetic game but because of the idea of there being so many different variating 
team compositions and builds that you just had to always be on your toes when going up against players. And I think that as of late and just the launch of the game, it has not been that way. So with the newest update coming in, I'm hoping that it opens up that door so that that can be the case. But again, it just kind of goes into those metrics that we've been seeing with PVP. You got all the tank meta you had prior to that pretty much the Zeus cleaving meta. So as soon as Zeus came out, he was on every PVP team. He was absolutely nuking everybody. And again, that's one of those things Whereas they're saying that they're going to be adjusting a lot of different characters going into the next update. I feel like a lot of that is going to be in a degree, maybe somewhat uh, innately out of their skills, dumbing them down. But I feel like the, re the resonate system will hopefully make up for what that character might be bringing to the table. So I guess we'll just have to kind of wait and see because there is a lot of different dilemmas that's kind of going on. But I would say that with these changes happening, there's going to be a many of different changes that as players were either going to like and or dislike. I do feel like with the changes to things like the fusion system to the ripple system, um, there are some really, really good changes. Despite Gabby being moved, I would say that's really honestly singularly could be potentially the only issue that was really honestly raised with any units that were shifted and or moved around but i also do feel like with what's going to be coming we have to actually see as to why these things are happening and i guess that that would be kind of my implore to dislike moving on in the future is that when you're giving out this kind of information the way that you're doing it is fine but i kind of feel like it's in a way to where you're just trying to content spread so that there's just constant information even though it's all within the same grouping of things that's going to be happening or same update the way it's being spread out because of the context and the type of information it is i think that as a whole it would be much better to release everything all at once in terms of everything relative to each other so that players are not sitting here wondering what exactly is going to be happening with the next portion of what's to come in the game and how that might affect their initial opinion about something because i think that that's where a lot of backlash is also coming from is just really honestly the lack of knowledge and really the lack of information i can't even say knowledge but the lack of information on what exactly is happening with certain things now granted we are in the works of getting that information but i will say just for initial responses that is just one of those things that ends up being a super imperative thing in my opinion is just giving people the information that they need so that they don't have to ask too many questions or feel worried about things throughout the process but that's pretty much going to be that. I'm intrigued to know how you guys personally feel. Like, what would you do differently about this update or like to see coming into this update? Um, I think it's really important to continue these types of dialogues as our game is going through some major adjustments. And I think that this is, again, just one of those things that overall is extremely necessary. I feel like the structure of our game definitely did not start out strong on the right foot. Um, and I'm hoping that with these adjustments, regardless of, you know, how salty we might get about certain things because we might have been used or liked certain things a certain way prior to, um, that in the future overall, we do get more good than bad, right? But that's gonna be pretty much that for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.